Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect, just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> they aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled whip. I am above your distractions, lust. Really? The truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort to bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us, together, to wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you! Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! What? Oh. It was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. 
You should not have made them kneel! Each will not accept my generosity, but you dally with angels. I'm a fake. Why would he do that, when he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me? Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Ocille! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth! The righteousness to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel, you see. And your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. No, Usil! <laughs> Won't this be fun? Feeling you know all too well, Fury. 
The angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me, and I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. Huh? But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Finish it! I am ready. <sighs> I think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight, but my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy? Shown to a filthy angel! You'd just as soon have your head on a pike! Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance, in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think that's what I'm here to find out. He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress! The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. Ah! 
Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! <sighs> no! Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> jealousy, and jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horsemen, became both my sword. Uh, with the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! Snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? To speak to me like this? Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet... They still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? 
I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthe. You'll see. Did they help me? That's, uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. Here, take it. A gift from the Lord of Hollows. Deserves to be in stronger hands than mine. You know not what you offer, Horseman. You cannot be serious. It's important. Clearly, I'm not worthy. Don't you want it? This was not meant for me. The Lord of Hollows knew whom he was choosing. His faith will not be questioned. Not by me, anyway. What? This milestone should be acknowledged. If you won't do it, I'll do so for you. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few... adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop envy and unseat your former masters. and judging that you've forgotten how to fight! Dare attack this holy sanctum! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this easy. Sweet! <laughs> You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons, and you have no one but yourselves to thank for it. Your lust for power will be your undoing envy. Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine. It's over, Envy! You have failed. Kill her, horseman. We command... Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough! 
Blasphemy! Trim! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs> Seriously? No, but it was worth a shot. But it worked. Coming all this way simply to prove you are as worthy as when you began. Council. Enraged. No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them. The time is now. Heaven, hell, the Chard Council. They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse. Why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war. Look around you. This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell! The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? in my possession to 
protect humanity. And one day, we will set things right. Together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, horseman. Strife.